Located in the northwest of the country, Rajasthan is India's largest state. Its name is translated as the Land of Kings, and its fortresses and palaces are magnificent monuments of the Rajput era. Rajasthani people take pride in their tribal tradition, especially their music, with folk songs that celebrate village life and customs. I love Indian folk music, and that's why I made sure not to miss the Kutla Khan project when they visited Joburg. You have a passion for music. When did this develop? My family is music family. Uh, my father, my grandma, all family is music family. My caste is a music caste. It's called Manganiya caste. What inspired you to launch the Kutla Khan project? I'm working with a lot of uh, artists from India also, out of India also. I make myself band of Rajasthani band. Then I search of a lot of village. I going, I search of uh, people of who is the best in the Rajasthani. Then now I have uh, like five people with me, the best artists from India. You're the lead vocalist, but what instrument do you play? I play kartal. This is called kartal. It's a four-piece of wood, uh, like this, tired, here, like this, then. One is another instrument called Morchang. And one is called Bapang, the one is string instrument. This ensemble is more than just a group of musicians, and its founder, Kutle Khan, has made it his mission to bring Rajasthani folk music to a wider audience. The Khan project visited South Africa as part of the Shared History Cultural Festival under the auspices of the Indian High Commission. We have with us the Indian High Commissioner, Mrs. Ganesham. Thank you for giving us your time. Thank you so much, Zakia, for having me on your show. What did you think of the Kutla Khan project? Oh, it was absolutely beautiful. It was riveting. And I think the participation of the audience was fantastic. <laughs>